Hi everyone, Lee here from Martinuzzi Property Group with another weekly real estate market update. Hope you're having a fantastic day, guys. This week I read um, some research provided by Knight Frank's Global House Price Index, and they actually reported that Australia ranked number seven out of 55 countries for the greatest house price growth this past 12 months. So the report was conducted across 55 countries up until the end of June 2021, and Australia was number seven with house price growth uh, up until June 2021 of 16.4%. Now, as of today, that figure actually is closer to 18.5% here in Australia nationally. So phenomenal growth. But if you think that's amazing, have a look at the figures that's uh, been reported from Turkey. They've experienced a annual growth of almost 30% and New Zealand who ranked number two of close to 26%. So some phenomenal growth there and what we're seeing now is that or at least some early talks that potentially there'll be another 20 percent uh, price increase in property prices across certain parts of australia in the next six months because it doesn't seem to be slowing down too greatly what we're seeing actually in the last week we listed two properties last week fantastic properties you should check them out they're on realestate.com or domain and that is 411 upper land shoot road and another cracking home here in Palmer's at 26 Holly Green Crescent. Now, out of all the inquiries, inquiries we've had, we've actually noticed a spike in inquiries coming from people down in Victoria. And we estimate it to be about a 15 to 20% of all inquiries have come from those guys in Victoria. Actually, we've just had a virtual inspection from one of those couples who's made an offer on one of our properties um, here in, in the area of Palmwoods. So look, the market is gonna move. It feels like that a lot of those people down in Victoria and New South Wales, once the restrictions start to ease, there's gonna be a, a lot more people looking to buy property up here. Now, typically in spring, that's when we see uh, a lot of sellers choosing to put their properties on the market. And we've actually seen in the last week, um, an increase in new listings coming to the market across Australia. And that's pretty much in every state and in every capital city, we've seen a raise in the amount of new listings coming to the market. However, the figure is heavily skewed by that of Melbourne, where they actually saw last week a 200% increase in new listings coming to the market. Now, keeping in mind that this time last year, Melbourne and Victoria were in lockdown and people had less confidence about uh, buying and selling property then. Whereas now people seem to be a little bit more used to it and not as concerned about getting their property sold and making the move, even though there's some restrictions and lockdowns still in place uh, for those guys in the Southern states. But what I think we will see, Usually the, uh, the peak of the market is about um, you know, early November. I think we'll see that peak stretch through November, potentially into December and into January as well. Now, typically most agents or agencies um, you know, close down and slow down over the Christmas festive season, Christmas and New Year's. Um, but this year, I think it's gonna be list, uh, very busy. I think it's gonna be a lot more um, people coming up from Southern states looking to buy properties up here. So I, for one, and certainly getting ready for a busy festive uh, market and sales season this year. Other news, guys, interestingly to know is that, you know, people keep asking me or at least informing me, saying how they keep seeing properties sell so quickly. They see the sold signs go up and go, wow, I can't believe how things are moving so quickly. Our average time on the market this year for Martin Lutze Property Group is 14 days. Um, but, you know, the average time for the area as reported by realestate.com, is about half that of what it was 12 months ago. So looking at the average around the Sunshine Coast here, that's reduced from 70 to 80 days on the market to about 30 to 35 days on the market on average across the areas of the Sunshine Coast. So things are still selling quickly. Um, the inquiries that are coming through are less, but they're still very much qualified, genuine buyers looking to purchase. I think the reason why inquiry numbers are a little bit lower is basically because affordability is, is getting out of reach for a lot of people. And also because I think the restrictions and lockdowns in the Southern states are still holding some people back from inquiring on properties because they're just not in a position um, to purchase, make offers and make a move. So guys, that's my weekly real estate market update. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great day, have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.